Hey guys, how's it going? It's been a while. Um, so I made this fidget spinner using Fusion 360 to design it. It's one of the first ones that I've done myself over there. If you want to see how I've done it, let's just go ahead and check it out right here. So this is a spinner that I'm working on for another project. So I'll select new design. I'll go ahead and I'll change my measurements over to millimeters because that's what all the bearings are in and it'll just be easier to work with. Um, I'll start a sketch, select my plane, um, then make a line that's 28 millimeters across and make sure it's centered. From there, I'll just grab a couple more lines. I'm freehanding it here, but making sure that everything stays relatively even. That way it's balanced when you go to spin it. Then you'll just want to hit C to create a circle. The first one I'm bringing out to 28 millimeters to go with the first line that I made. And then the inner diameter I'm making 22.1 as the um, bearings are 22 millimeters. And I want a little bit of wiggle room there. Then I'm just going to go up to the top and repeat the same thing. So you'll hit the stop sketch button and then hit the E key which will allow you to extrude. Um, and you'll select the sections that you want to extrude, um, leaving the centers open so they can fit the bearings in. And because the bearings are 7 millimeters high, I'm just going 7.1 because I like a little bit of extra room. After that, we're just going to hit create and then go to pattern, circular pattern, and then make sure bodies is selected and select that your body. Um, and then the axis is going to be the bottom one. And for this one, I'm going to go ahead and zoom above so I can see what it's going to look like and then I think I'll do five arms uh, make sure they're all spaced out and not overlapping each other and that looks pretty good then you'll want to go up to modify and combine um, you'll select each section here and they'll all highlight as you do it and then make sure that your operation is join and then click OK and that should make it all into one piece Go ahead and hit that make button, which will let you export it over to your slicer. Um, I use Cura, so it's already set up for me to do that. Select your body, hit OK, and it should automatically open up your slicer. Um, for me, it popped up sitting vertically, so I'm just going to go ahead and rotate it so it's sitting flat. Um, it's probably the easiest way for this to print. Um, and then just double check your settings, and you should be able to bring it over to the printer.